to a quick fix. God bless you. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Here, in Rivet City? I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. No problem at all. Need to do some killing, eh? Give me a shout if you need anything else. If you need out of the ordinary. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. No, no, no. I would never do that. Polly does. Sample it, I mean. He's my deadbeat husband. He's hopeless. 
I have to keep him away from the shop, or I'll rob us blind. One of these days, he's going to end up dead. We've got all kinds of... Thanks. Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. 
That tow bar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back, but just give her this note from me, would you? Only that it's where Tobar gets those punga fruits he sells off. Must be making a good profit off of them, too. I hear rumors the place is full of swamps and killer plants, but I don't know about all that. She's about your age, and when she left, her hair was dyed bright orange. You shouldn't have any problem recognizing her. She told me she wanted to go find her fortune, but I thought it was too dangerous. I should have known better than to say that. The moment I told her she couldn't go, it was just a matter of time before she ran off. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? You look like a man who's been around the waste, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. You should have seen her back in her heyday, why we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times, but these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the Point Lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. Now I'm not normally one to discourage an adventurous spirit, but certain events have convinced me of the value of forewarning. I know you think you're ready for anything, but the threats you'll face in the swamp make those super mutants look like playful puppies. So just be sure you know what you're getting into, okay? You still want to head out to Point Lookout? Just don't come crying to me when a mire lurk is chewing on your guts. Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. Whenever you're ready, just take a rest on the cot in the cabin. We'll be at Point Lookout in no time. Hello, traveler.
Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Oh, nothing much. Just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient, and I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the Northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. Good travels to you. Well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. And what is it you would like to purchase? Along, please.
It's off, God. Take out these bastards while I they've been help me take out these bastards while I figure out a plan. Hey, over here. from somewhere upstairs. Hurry, follow me. Go through these doors and up the stairs. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping an eye on the cameras down here. Hurry.
Job blocking off that hole. Hurry and get in. Yeah, looks like they're about to breach in the east wing.
the hell? Unenlightened. <laughs> Get out here! No! First, I'll cover you! <gasps> Sleep forever!
You will feed the punga. There you are. That's one. That's one less way for them to get in. Follow me. Yeah. If you have any money. Friends, now's the time to use them. They could come in through any of the boarded up doors at any second.
So, my hero, think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time? Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. Not a fucking clue. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Damned if I know, it was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. None of it would be useful to a bunch of crazed inbreds. I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. I'm here on my own business. You wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. I'm gonna do what I came to do, and then get the fuck out of here. They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? Now hold. So here's the deal. I help you get in with those tribals, you help me get what I want, and I'll make you fucking rich. Just try not to sprain a lobe while you're thinking about it. My time is short.
You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Those mud lovers want me dead, and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune, and figure out what's going through their ad little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. These are people who think cutting a hole in their skull can expand their mind. They're not exactly scholars over there. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet. I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. My story? Tell you what, kid. My story's a lot like a death claw's tongue. It's long, messy, and you don't want to get too personal with it. Understand? Suffice it to say, I have business in Point Lookout. If you help, you will be repaid for your efforts. That's all you want to fucking know. <laughs> 